We're about to walk into what I call the hallowed doors of the cardiac cath lab. Malcolm Foster, what procedures are done inside the cath lab? Well, Dr. Bob, we do heart catheterizations and balloon angioplasty and stents and electrical procedures called ablations. So a lot of activity goes on inside these doors. Let's see what it looks like. All righty. Here we are. So Sir, this is the cath lab. This is the cath lab. Now, Malcolm, is this where, what do you do with a cath? So when we do a heart catheterization or a procedure, we go into the blood vessel with a, a needle and a guide wire and a small catheter. Wouldn't you break those vessels? Uh, well, the vessels generally are soft. Uh, there are there's some calcification involved, but we go in with a, a small but sharp needle. Show me your floating table. Sure. I think this is amazing. So the person is lying on their back typically, and this is called a floating table. And between the table and the image intensifier, which is the x-ray equipment, we can really uh, get any number of projections in order to see the heart arteries because the heart arteries are in a beating heart and they extend over the surface of the heart like a, a root system. Do you have to be a good Xbox or a PS360 in order to work this machine? Yeah, who, who knew? We have a little toggle down here and uh, probably my, uh, my children may do better than I do. <laughs> Malcolm, this is fascinating. Um, now let's go back and see what some of the images show. Okay. Now Malcolm, this is the image of the patient that's on the table right there. Yes, sir. Uh, can you see this while you're doing the cath? Yes, we see it live and then we have the image uh, repeat itself so that we can review it. So show me which one of these are blood vessels and what's happening. So this is the right coronary artery. So this goes to the right side and the underside of the heart. And this person has had some previously placed stents. So there's a stent here and the stents look quite good, but now they have developed more blockage. So for example, this area. Whoa, I can see that. That's a, mm -hmm. suddenly you got a really skinny area there. That's an, a blockage, an occlusion you call it? That's right. So we call it a, a, a narrowing or a stenosis and that's due to plaque buildup. And that's somebody with a, with a fairly tight blockage that's go going to need to be treated with a stent. Now Malcolm, this is a coronary blood vessel that you're really looking at an enlarged view here of that same narrowing? That's right, and this is from an image from inside the blood vessel called intravascular ultrasound. We can see very precisely the size of the blood vessel. We can see how much uh, plaque buildup there is in terms of the percentage of blockage and the type of plaque that's inside the, uh, the artery. Now we're ready to go with the stent. This patient going to do well? This patient should do very well.